Um, hi guys, I wanted to show you my short review of the experience I made with gluing silk nylon. Um, last time we went trekking we took a tarp with us, which is a very versatile and very lightweight, but we were in some point a bit dissatisfied with the performance of it. At first I wanted to have an even lighter tarp, because this one is made from a 50 gram per square um, silk nylon and I wanted to use a more lightweight one. And then on top of that, the, the sewing here at the, the hoist points that added some really um, stress because in, in between the, the swing points you could tear up all the silk nylon. Here you maybe can see it. So and I wanted to try out a new method because I really don't like sewing and I wanted to try to distribute the load better by gluing silk nylon in the future. I've used here this um, product from Wacker Chemistry. It's the Elastasil E41. Here you see a piece of fabric I've glued together, so instead of sewing, I just glued it with an overlap of about uh, one finger or two centimeters. And you know, I really tried to rip it apart. I wobbled it for, for maybe half an hour, and there is no tear, there's no wear whatsoever even not at the corners, so it seems to be the much better method than sewing to me. There is no way it ever comes apart. I can also scratch it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't come off anymore. And I tried it for quite a while here, so it's really a very sturdy con connection between those two fabrics. I'm very happy with the performance of the, the glue, I must say. Uh, then further on I tested how the, the gluing would react to lateral here uh, and perpendicular stress like this and then I also compare that with sewing so here is a, the gluing and here is its sawn and then I would just tear and see how much weight I could apply on the, on the connection here. So let's give you the details of the test I've made here. I used the Elastasil E41 glue on a 32 gram per square meter silk nylon and I determined the tear strength at 0 0.5 kilogram per millimeter of material and I set that to 100%. Then you can see here on the lateral stress with the gluing it could go up to 100% of the material strength whereas when I, when I sew it I could only reach 30 to 50%. And furthermore here perpendicular stress Gluing the, the glue failed already at 10 to 15 percent of the material strength, whereas when I, when I saw it sew it, then I could go up to 30 to 50 percent. So, but already at 30 percent, I saw some structural damage. And then, when I combined those two gluing and sewing, I could reach nearly 75 percent of the material strength. So, it's a uh, for lateral stresses, gluing is perfect, and perpendicular stress combining the gluing and the swing together would be perfect, perfect match. So what does that mean in the end? If you, if I can uh, glue on a big patch of of silk nylon on the tarp with a, a diameter of 15 centimeter, then I would go. I could distribute the load on a circumference of 240 millimeters. That would give me a maximum load of 120 kilos on the tarp, which would be you would never reach with a uh, on a normal tarp. So I have really big safety margin there. Whereas on the other hand, if I just uh, put on a cordura patch and and sew that with one with wood stitches, then that would give me a maximum strength of 35 kilos, which could easily be reached in a in a thunderstorm. So here we are in the garden of my house and made a small prototype of my tarp with the, the knowledge I gained from the stress tests. And you see it's really small the tarp, but here you can see I made a first ring which I just glued on with some nylon and then I had a second ring that soon on made from Kadura to be able to attach the, the these strings here. I had it in the rain for a week and in the wind and in the sun and you can see 
there is no tear, there is no wear and I pitched it really tight there so I think the, the method really works out and for the tie out loops here I just made myself a triple layer of fabric put that to uh, this circular piece of of nylon and then I just glued all of that on top of here and then gave it a few stitches on, on both sides so let's see how much I can pull on this one we're up to 10 kilos and starting to wear out a little bit So that was 20 kilos, still didn't break. And when it finally gave way at around 25 kilos, it didn't even break at the loop, but uh, at the adjacent fabric. So, perfect method. So hopefully I showed you how to make a tarp that can really last with thunderstorm and then could maybe give you an update when it has been into the field for a few weeks. And hopefully until then I also know how to make a how to glue a 4 meter ridge line.